Sleep is not just an idle state where we're recharging our batteries. It's a complex and vital process that's crucial for our overall health, fitness and cognitive function. Think of it as your body's daily maintenance routine. During sleep, your brain consolidates memories, your muscles repair themselves, and your body releases hormones that regulate growth and appetite. Good sleep is vital for our health and well-being, but how do we know if we're getting the right kind of sleep? Today, we're exploring the world of smart sleep trackers and how they are helping us to improve our sleep quality. These innovative tools can help us understand our sleep patterns, identify disruptions, and guide us towards achieving that blissful, rejuvenating sleep we all desire. So, what exactly are these sleep trackers, and how do they work? Well, they are a collection of devices and applications designed to monitor and improve your sleep. Using sensors, algorithms, and artificial intelligence, these devices monitor, measure, and analyze various aspects and stages of your sleep. They can help you track your progress, set goals, get feedback, and improve your sleep and well-being. These devices can be wearables that you wear on your wrist, finger, or head throughout the night, like rings, smartwatches, or fitness bands. They use sensors to detect your body movements, heart rate, body temperature and blood oxygen levels and use algorithms to estimate your sleep stages such as light, deep and REM sleep. Other sleep trackers are non-wearable devices that you place on or under your mattress or next to your bed. They use sensors to measure your breathing, snoring, tossing and turning and environmental factors such as light, noise and temperature and use algorithms to evaluate your sleep quality and duration. They also provide you with data and insights on your sleep patterns, sleep efficiency, and sleep score. Most sleep trackers upload your data to a smartphone app or a web platform where you can view your reports, graphs, and scores and get personalized feedback and suggestions to improve your health and fitness. Some of them also integrate with other smart devices, such as smart speakers, smart lights, smart thermostats, and smart scales to create a smart home ecosystem that supports your well-being. They work by continuously collecting and analyzing data to provide real-time feedback about your health and fitness. Now that we understand what these technologies are, let's explore some of the best sleep trackers on the market. Sleep tracking devices can be either wearable or non-wearable. Wearable sleep trackers are devices with embedded sensors which are worn throughout the night typically on your wrist or fingers, to monitor your sleep patterns and provide you with insights into the quality of your sleep. When choosing a wearable sleep tracker, there are several factors to consider. Factors like accuracy, comfort, battery life, features and compatibility with your smartphone or other devices will help you make an informed decision on which device to go for. The following are some of the popular wearable sleep trackers offering a range of features and are highly rated by users. Let's start with the Fitbit Charge 4. This device, known for its sleek design, offers a comprehensive overview of your sleep stages, including light, deep and REM sleep. What sets it apart is the Sleep Score feature, which provides a nightly rating of your sleep quality. It's like having a personal sleep coach on your wrist. Then there's the Ura Ring. This compact device, worn on your finger, uses infrared LEDs to measure blood volume pulse directly from the palmar arteries of the skin. It provides detailed information on sleep stages, latency, timing, and efficiency. The Aura Ring is a testament to the saying, great things come in small packages. The Garmin Vivasmart 4 also deserves a mention. This fitness tracker doubles as a sleep monitor, providing insights into light, deep, and REM stages of sleep. It also offers a unique body battery feature that estimates your energy reserves throughout the day, helping you manage your sleep and wake cycles better. And of course, we cannot forget the Apple Watch. Apple Watches can help you track your sleep and create personalized sleep schedules to meet your sleep goals and improve your overall health. You can wear your watch to bed, and Apple Watch can estimate the time you spent in each sleep stage, REM, core, and deep, as well as when you might have woken up. You can also set up a sleep focus, which limits distractions before you go to bed and protects your sleep after you're in bed. Sleep tracking is available on watchOS 8 or later, so any Apple Watch model that supports this operating system can use this function. This includes Apple Watch Series 3 and later. Next, 
the WHOOP 4.0, which is a wearable device that tracks your sleep, recovery and strain and provides you with personalized coaching and insights to optimize your performance and well-being. The Sleep On Go 2 Sleep Tracker, which is a wearable device that measures your blood oxygen levels, heart rate variability and sleep apnea index and alerts you if you have low oxygen levels or sleep apnea episodes during the night. The Bio Smart Sleep Mask, which is a wearable device that blocks out light and noise and uses brainwave technology to help you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer and wake up refreshed. The Muse S Headband Sleep Tracker Plus App which is a wearable device that uses EEG sensors to monitor your brain activity and provides you with guided meditation and soundscapes to help you relax and improve your sleep quality. We also have the non-wearable sleep trackers. Non-wearable sleep trackers are those devices that monitor your sleep patterns without requiring you to wear them. These devices use sensors that detect physical signs such as heart rate, respiration and movement to track your sleep. The devices are embedded in the mattress, under the mattress or next to the bed to collect information unobtrusively. The data collected by the sensors is uploaded to a device that runs it through an algorithm to analyze and display the results. Some popular non-wearable sleep trackers include the Withing Sleep Analyzer, which is a non-wearable device that uses a sensor under your mattress to measure your sleep cycles, heart rate, snoring and breathing disturbances, and integrates with other smart home devices to create a comfortable sleep environment. A standout feature is its ability to detect sleep apnea episodes, a potential game-changer for those suffering from this sleep disorder. And lastly, we have the Bedit Sleep Monitor, this device, owned by Apple, is another under-the-mattress sleep tracker. It measures sleep time, heart rate, breathing, and even room temperature and humidity. The bed it shines with its simplicity and seamless integration with the Apple Health app. Each of these sleep trackers offers something different, whether it's detailed sleep stage analysis, sleep apnea detection, or energy level monitoring. So, you've got your hands on a cutting-edge sleep tracker and you've been diligently wearing it every night. You wake up each morning to a flurry of numbers and graphs. But what do you do with all that data? It's one thing to collect data, but another to understand and use it effectively. Firstly, let's talk about sleep stages. Your tracker will typically break your sleep down into light, deep and REM sleep. Light sleep is the transitional phase where you're not quite awake but not deeply asleep. Deep sleep is where the magic happens. This is the restorative stage where your body is repairing muscles, consolidating memories and regenerating cells. REM sleep is where you dream. It's crucial for brain function and mood regulation. And a healthy sleep pattern will see you cycling through these stages multiple times each night, spending about half the night in light sleep, a quarter in deep sleep, and a quarter in REM sleep. If you're not hitting these ratios, it might be an area for improvement. Next, let's talk about sleep efficiency. This is the percentage of time you spend asleep compared to the total time you spend in bed. Ideally, you want this number to be as close to 100% as possible. If it's significantly lower, it may indicate that you're having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Your tracker will also give you information on your sleep latency. That's the time it takes you to fall asleep after turning out the lights. Ideally, this should be between 10 to 20 minutes. Any longer, and you might be dealing with insomnia. Any shorter, and you might be sleep deprived. Lastly, your tracker will likely show you your sleep disturbances. These are periods of wakefulness during the night. While it's normal to have a few of these, especially during transitions between sleep stages, a large number of disturbances could indicate a problem. Interpreting your sleep data can be like trying to read tea leaves if you don't know what you're looking at. But with a little bit of knowledge, you can start to see patterns, identify problem areas and find ways to improve. Now let's talk about how to improve your sleep quality. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help our channel growth. To improve your sleep quality, you need to know how well you sleep and what factors affect your sleep quality. Your sleep tracker can show you your sleep efficiency, which is the percentage of time you spend asleep versus the time you spend in bed. It can also show you your sleep score, which is a summary of your sleep quality based on various metrics, such as heart rate, breathing, snoring and environmental factors. 
If you have low sleep efficiency or sleep score, you may experience restless sleep, frequent awakenings, or poor daytime performance. To balance your sleep stages, you need to know how much time you spend in each sleep stage and what benefits each sleep stage provides. Your sleep tracker can show you your sleep stages, such as light, deep, and REM sleep, and how they change throughout the night. If you are not getting enough deep or REM sleep, you may experience physical and mental fatigue, reduced cognitive function, and mood disorders. To reduce your sleep latency, you need to know how long it takes you to fall asleep and what causes you to have trouble falling asleep. Your sleep tracker can show you your sleep latency, which is the time between going to bed and falling asleep. It can also show you your sleep onset, which is the time when you enter the first stage of sleep. If you have high sleep latency or delayed sleep onset, you may experience insomnia, anxiety or depression. To optimize your sleep timing, you need to know when you sleep and when you wake up and how they affect your energy levels and mood throughout the day. Your sleep tracker can show you your sleep timing, which is the time when you start and end your sleep. It can also show you your sleep phase, which is the sleep stage you are in when you wake up. If you have irregular or inconsistent sleep timing, you may experience jet lag, social jet lag, or shift work disorder. If you have unfavorable sleep phase, you may experience grogginess, irritability, or difficulty concentrating. The data from your sleep tracker can help you gain a better understanding of your sleep patterns, such as how long and how well you sleep, how often you wake up during the night, and how much time you spend in each sleep stage. By analyzing your sleep data, you can identify areas for improvement, such as increasing your sleep duration, improving your sleep quality, balancing your sleep stages, reducing your sleep latency, or optimizing your sleep timing. Your sleep tracker can show you your average sleep time and compare it with the recommended sleep time for your age group. How accurate are these devices, you may ask? The data from these sleep trackers are not 100% accurate as they rely on sensors, algorithms and artificial intelligence that may have errors or limitations. However, they can provide a reasonable estimate of our sleep quality. The accuracy of the sensors may vary depending on the type of device, the location of the sensor, the skin tone of the user and the activity being performed. Non-wearable devices that measure sleep quality using sensors under the mattress may be less accurate than wearable devices that measure sleep stages using brainwave sensors. Therefore, it is important to use the data from smart devices with caution and not to rely on them for medical diagnosis or treatment. Tips to improve sleep quality. Improving sleep quality is a goal most of us share, so how can we achieve it? Firstly, let's talk about consistency. Your body thrives on routine. Establishing a regular sleep schedule where you go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends, can greatly improve the quality of your sleep. Your sleep tracker will help you pinpoint the ideal times for you. Next, we have the environment. Your bedroom should be a haven for sleep quiet, dark and cool. Consider using earplugs or a white noise machine if you live in a noisy environment. Blackout curtains can help block out intrusive light and if you're still tossing and turning it might be time to reassess your mattress or pillows. Then there's the issue of technology. It's best to switch off electronic devices at least an hour before bedtime. The blue light emitted by screens can interfere with your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Instead, try reading a book or practicing some light yoga to help your body and mind unwind. Diet too plays a significant role. Try to avoid large meals, caffeine and alcohol close to bedtime. These can disrupt your sleep cycle and lead to poor quality sleep. Instead, opt for a light snack or a calming herbal tea. Exercise is another key component. Regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. However, try not to exercise too close to bedtime as it might leave you feeling energized when you should be winding down. And finally, stress management. Techniques such as meditation, deep breathing and progressive muscle relaxation can help you manage stress and anxiety, making it easier for you to fall asleep and stay asleep. Remember, 
The beauty of using a sleep tracker is that it allows you to monitor your progress and adjust your strategies accordingly. If one approach doesn't seem to be working, don't be afraid to try something else. It's all about finding what works best for you. With these tips and your trusty sleep tracker, you're well on your way to better sleep and improved health and fitness. Thanks for watching and see you next time.